Hi everyone, it is Tarnished Treasures and I went thrifting today. I went to the flea market, I went to the thrift store, and I went to a surprise estate sale. I just saw a sign as I was driving home. Um, so, I'll share the estate sale things first. I spent $15. I got a sterling chain, and then these two are gold filled. And what's nice about these is the length difference. Um, this one chain here is extremely long. And I do find a lot of charms, and that'll be really great to put a few on this one, hang it on my dress form, put a few on that one, and then they won't block each other because of the extreme difference. I got a pair of earrings. Um, well, I've got one and a half pairs. This one's for crafting because it didn't have its match. And then I got this opal pair. Um, you know, they look real to me. There was this candlestick and you know how estate sales are. They, they are dark. It's hard to see and read markings. So I just pick things up if I like them or if I'm like pretty certain it's, you know, a good deal. And uh, yeah, this one is marked sterling on the bottom. I got this really pretty picture, ewer style uh, vase with some hand painted roses. Can't wait to put that on display. And then I got some linens. This is pretty shabby, but it's silk. And I'll just add it to my little fabric sash and see what I might need it for in the future. A lot of times I just think, oh, I'm saving these because, you know, who else is going to want it and what are they going to do if it doesn't sell? So I just put it in my pile. These little hand towels, fingertip towels, I believe that says dry up. It's got a hand with nail polish and I don't know what that's supposed to be. But very, very nice condition. Doesn't look stained or anything. And then something that matches it that looks like it says <laughs> sissy stuff. <laughs> I don't know. Two reds. And then this one's got a ring and it's got jewelry on it. <laughs> so those most likely will be headed to Pam's for a sale. Um, I just thought somebody's going to like those. Um, for myself, I got two of these zippered pillow covers. I really like these, and I found all of mine at estate sales, so I will wash them up and put them on any pillows that do not have them. And a little stocking holder. I really like these and this color is beautiful. Um, I did not untie it, but it's this very pretty reddish purple color with a beautiful aqua inside and really nice little tassel there. Yep, there we go. Very nice. I don't use them for anything, I just collect them. So I think I have two or three of these, maybe two now. <laughs> so I got 13 items, uh, 14 if you count the single earring and 15 if you count the tree and the garland separately. So I paid about a dollar a piece for everything, which really is a good deal. So this tree to me, looks like something that might have been from Target um, or Joanne Fabrics. It's an aqua color. It's got glitter. It's got a wood painted base though, which I feel like might give it a little age. So I'm not, I'm not quite sure if this is like what, what this is, if it's vintage or new. I'm even feeling it's more of a plasticky needle and the garland had to have been added because it is the old glass garland and it's got small to large and there's even a broken one in there so I first got it and I thought well I'm just gonna take the garland off and keep the garland but actually I might just leave it how it is or I might separate them and use them both I am not quite sure 
I took all of the beads off and after I'm done filming, I will break off broken ones. And this had the little uh, piece of paper at the end, so very vintage piece. And then I just rinsed this in the sink just to get some dust off. And since these are plastic, it's fine. But I really am curious about this piece. At the thrift store, I picked up two things. They were $4 each. I got this pig. I could not resist it, but I don't know what to do with it. What holiday, what season, I don't know. I'm just not a pig figurine person, but it's done so well. And I have a fox by this brand that I love. So I thought I'd regret it. That's why I got it. And it says handy, right? Handiwork, West Germany, cute pig. And then I got this little paperweight, which... I think might be Norway. Um, there's that flag in the distance. So I know there's some of you who will know exactly what this is. So that's the writing at the bottom. Looks like there's a little stroller with a woman and then a child behind her. You see how it looks like there's a cross on that flag in the back? But I just think it has a really nice shape to it, all those big facets. And it's not that big. It's smaller than the palm of my hand. I also went to the flea market, and I was a bit disappointed because two of the stands that I wanted to visit that really have a lot to dig through and some really inexpensive jewelry, uh, the one had a sign up that said, they'd be back on the 28th. Um, so I guess they're taking a week off. And then the other one, sometimes she shows up late and you know, I can't stay forever. I've got a, other things I have to do. So I got a few things. I was hoping to get a little bit more because I've really been enjoying working on my um, embellished oyster shells. And I'll share these in my vlog, but this was one that I started last night. So I'd like to find something kind of plain just maybe like a rhinestone necklace or bracelet to go there here's a purple one that I started and then I have this one the shell that's sitting in there is not glued it's just a possibility so I paid a dollar for this bracelet which I think is a wonderful price I love these crystals and it even has one that little that's a little dangle. So if you have a dress form or if you have some type of bust or sculpture, you can stick it around the neck and it can be um, a, a choker. It doesn't just have to be a bracelet that a person would wear. So I love to do that, take bracelets and put them around my sculptures and they look like necklaces. At a booth that I do like to visit, and I usually get at least one thing from this man every time, um, I saw this piece. And at first I saw the purple stone, and then when I looked at it, I said, oh, it's another thistle, but this one's in a heart with a crown. And then I looked at the piece next to it. It also was, um, he had like two, two or three things that had thistles, but they didn't have the colored stone. And they were marked at $30 and $40. So I was like, oh, shoot. And this one wasn't marked. So I asked him how much. He said $5. So I looked at it and I thought, okay, I really like the way it looks. So when I flipped it, I couldn't see any markings that I recognized, but I could see on that side and that side there was a marking. And all of these thistle pieces that I've picked up have all been sterling. So I just looked at it closer here and it does have that lion. So I got a little sterling pin for five dollars. That's uh, the thistle that I like to collect. I paid ten dollars for this very delicate pink, I guess crystal because it does say Czechoslovakia right here on this round part. Uh, necklace. It's really delicate and beautiful. And look at that little flower piece there. And it's pink, very, very pale pink. And at one other stand, the first one that I always stop at, which I saw one of my wonderful students um, the last year that I was teaching at my other school, so two years ago. He was in 10th grade. He was fabulous. And when I walked in, I saw him. 
but you never know, like, oh, maybe he's changed. Maybe it's just this lookalike. Well, his t-shirt had the high school name on it. And I said, oh my gosh, I was so happy to see him. So he's a senior. So getting ready for his AP art portfolio. It was just wonderful to see him. So I spent $8 for all of these things. I got some unused stamps. And if you watch my vlogs, you know that I made that little stamp box, which I actually refired to burn all the paint off and I'm repainting it because I wasn't happy with it. This mother piece, I think that'll be nice for one of the embellished shells. A little stopper, nice shape. A pin that will go on my dress and it is marked on the bottom. So let's see, I'll look at the bottom. It's right there. What do you think it says? Did I find something amazing? <laughs> and then I got, I'll have to see what that says as well, but a little B for crafting. Um, a set of Aurora Borealis earrings. Funny that I just used a set last night in my uh, shell. So it's kind of funny when I use something and then all of a sudden put it right back in my stash. And then the stamps. So that was a good deal, I think, $8. Um, a single earring. Does it say made in Austria? I wish I had found the match, because that's nice. And then a set of clips. I'm not gonna call them fur, not gonna call them dress, not gonna call them shoe, just gonna call them clips. And I can see it's missing some rhinestones, but since I bought so many from Gabby, I can replace that. But I thought those were very pretty and small. <laughs> so, I got charged one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about a dollar a piece. Now to display or store my items. So here are my curio, I've got my thistle pieces, and here's my newest one. It has a lighter purple stone than the others. I know I have a fox that's the same brand as the pig. And then when I looked at my Easter display, I realized that I have a bunny as well. So maybe they'll keep each other company for Easter. And then my stopper, I put that in here. It can't close though. So I don't know, maybe I'm going to stick it in there and then the roses that might go in my wardrobe this I'll see if it'll work around a sculpture and then this I'm just going to stick with my other one if you watched my toiletries and vanity item collection video then you've already seen this so this is my one keeper and now I'm just going to add this one here I really love the color combinations and the materials on both of these and I'll try and have the tassel show a bit. It's a very small little space that I have for this collection. And if I do set up my art space in the basement, then hopefully this can grow onto a different shelf. I have a lot of floral things and just bright, sunny, cheery colors on this shelf. And so I wanted these roses to go where this painting of roses was. The back of both of these say Austria. And then this has a skeleton key with a rhinestone on the back. That's the marking. So I looked that up and the brand is called Keep Collective. And it looks like they're maybe like a fabric type bracelet that you would slide little charms on. New pin right there. In this drawer, I keep fabric, um, handkerchiefs, uh, lace, my millinery flowers, which need to be organized better, but this is where I keep the stuff that I might use for display or for crafting. So that's the flowers from Gabby the other day that I haven't used yet, and then my new silk hanky. For now, I've hung my new necklace on this little hand clip. 
And this little wall pocket, there were actually two of them at the store today. They were $7 each, really thick glass on the bottom, and then purple that faded into a yellow. I was going to buy one, and then I didn't, and now I'm thinking, oh, do I regret it? So possibly I'll pick that up soon. Um, so that'll be it for the video. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in another one.